You're watching Triple A Backstage. We're here with Brisbane Electronic uh, singer, songwriter, producer, extraordinaire, uh, Meredith. Uh, how are you doing? I'm good. I'm really good. It's Friday. Excellent. Feeling good. And um, I hear you bought a puppy a few days ago. How's I that going? did. Yeah, good. I feel like, actually, I don't know what it's like to be a new mum. I was going to say I feel like a new mum, but I feel like every new mum would be like, you don't know what that's like. But no, it's great. She's full of energy and super cute and keeping me up all hours, basically. <laughs> And for those people watching who do know dog breeds, what yeah. mix is she? Um, so she's she's a little rescue, so they're not totally sure of her origins, but she's dashing across Maltese, across the Australian Terrier. It's what they know of her. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see as she gets older, what she has yeah, to use, I yeah. guess. Yeah. Um, your debut single, Jumping Beds, was released uh, 18 months or so ago. Um, and now you're just about to release your debut EP. Um, the single, the debut single is on that EP. Yeah. How do you feel your music has progressed in the last two years or so? Yeah, totally. Um, I think that song, Jump Beds, was very like, still um, quite, I don't know, rooted in like folk and things like that. So I feel like the electronic stuff I've kind of um, fallen into, I guess, and experimented and found myself really enjoying. Um, so the newer stuff is probably a little bit more electronic and less folky, but they all have a similarity, I think. You say you fell into the electronic stuff. Yeah. What were you doing before yeah. um, being called Meredith, I guess? Like, were you yeah, a folk person yeah. before? Yeah, yeah like definitely. Um, I used to play a lot of folk music. I still love playing folk. It's still, like, definitely my origins. Um, but I, I found myself enjoying electronic music and production a lot more. I found it a little bit more um, just exciting and fun. Okay. Yeah. Like, do you, is the end game to produce bangers or where do you <laughs> see yourself in a few years? Like, what's the next EP like, I guess? Um, <laughs> The producer I work with would definitely say to to make bangers, yep. um, but I just I just want to yeah keep doing it and keep I guess keep evolving and keep getting better and, and learning yeah, more about my style. And that kind of thing. Um, what kind of inspirations or influences do you bring into your style? Like, do you have an electronic um, producer in mind, or like have you just gone this I like this in folk, this kind of works in like yeah go. yeah I've tried really hard to take what I do and then kind of. Like we work really hard on manipulating acoustic sounds to make them electronic. So instead of just going in and playing all synths and stuff like that, we'll um, you know sample an acoustic sound and then make that a little bit more electronic. So I've tried to be a bit more organic in the way that we've approached it and not just you know generic electronic music. Not that there's anything wrong with that. It's just probably not my vibe. Yeah. Okay. So um, playing live and whatnot, do you have an acoustic guitar on you? Like. You've said you just manipulate the acoustic stuff. Yeah. Can you still try to bring in a live sense yeah. with that. Yeah, we, we had a few rehearsals. I have a band, they're amazing. Um, we played the acoustic guitar, and because the sounds had been so manipulated, it didn't quite fit. Um, but I still like I still love it, and I think every now and then for gigs we'll probably do, like we will have an acoustic guitar, but at the yeah. moment it's electric guitar, which is super fun. Super fun, super cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, your latest single, How Could You Believe That, definitely has a much more serious vibe, um, which obviously correlates with the lyrical content of the song, especially compared to um, Jumping Beds. Uh, do you always try to match uh, the vibe of your music with the vibe of your lyrics, or is, is there kind of no correlation, you just write yeah. songs and see what happens? Um, I think it's probably more like the latter, that I just will like kind of write the song and get the vibe going, and then it just tends to go down that road. Um, but then like when you can, like you can play on it more, so you'll yeah. be like, yeah, like this is definitely getting a bit of a sinister vibe, I'll just yeah, I'll kind of milk that. Really. Have you ever uh, written the music, then got the lyrics, and they kind of work, but then you you know what, I just need to make this a bit more sinister, so it all works. I'm really weird. I only, I only write them together, so I never just write the guitar part and then come back to it and write words. I always write them together. Okay. So, not, I, maybe I'll try that. Yeah, I like that. Well, I can give that you idea. some tips. Yeah. <laughs> so, Songwriting 101 with Jack. <laughs> um, you're releasing your debut EP, Nostalgia, um, in, well, when this comes out, uh, less than two weeks uh, yeah. from now. Um, first of all, are you proud or are you scared? How what's going to you? Uh, I think there's always a little bit of fear of anything you do, especially when you're like, oh, I'm so vulnerable. Here's my like thoughts and feelings. Yeah. But I'm very proud of it because we've worked on it for a long time. Um, and every song, like, I call it nostalgia because every song when I listen to it, I get nostalgic. I'm like, yeah, I love when we're in the studio and feeling all those feels. So, no, I'm feeling really good about it, really confident about it. Um, are you a little worried about how some songs are, like, are you a perfectionist and you still want to change a little bit, but obviously, Mix and Master yeah. months ago, you can't do that anymore? For sure. And just, like, the week before we put, how could you believe that out? I was like, oh, Jesus, I'm not ready. It's like it's all wrong. And yeah. then, 
like, um, you know, my producer's like, no, like, you wrote it in that moment, that's what it should be, like, you know, there's no point going back and adding things, it loses its authenticity, I think. Um, so with the EP launch coming up in a few weeks at Black Bear Lodge, will you perhaps perform some of the songs according to how they are recorded, considering um, that you yes. kind of want to change a few Yeah, things? yeah, for sure. Um, I do believe that's pretty much the same, and then right towards the end it totally changes and we break it down to really acoustic, and um, so it kind of goes on a journey, that song particularly, which is, yeah, really cool. Uh, you've been watching Triple A Backstage with me here, super lovely Meredith. Uh, catch her at her show uh, coming soon at Black Bear Lodge and her EP, which is out super soon. Thank you very much for chatting with us. Thank you. Bye.